do is check your visual acuity. Do you wear contacts? No. Okay. So um, for this test, I'm going to hold this card 14 inches from your eyes, and I'm going to have you cover one eye and read the lowest line that you can, just the numbers. Okay? Go ahead, start with one eye. Um, card is held in good light. 14 inches from high. That's, that's no, what no, I should write. don't read that. Like, oh. here, these numbers. Oh, the numbers. <laughs> oh, so the smallest one I should read? Yeah, oh, the smallest one you can. 9, 3, 7, 8, 2, 6. All right, and then switch eyes. If it's the same line you're going to read again, read it backwards. Oh, my God. Um, 6, 2, 8, 1, 2, 7, 3, 9. Okay, good. So you have 20 25 vision in both your left and your right eye. Okay. So that's just shy of perfect. Yes. Okay, next is going to be peripheral vision. So again, I'm going to have you cover one eye. You can choose which eye you want to do first. I'm going to hold up both my hands with a mm -hmm. number of fingers showing out of all the fingers that you see. Don't move your eye, keep looking at me. Okay? Mm -hmm. Four. Three. Switch eyes. Okay, vision back, there mm -hmm. you go. Okay, I mean. Ten. Three. You got it, good job. Okay. So cranial nerve number two and her peripheral vision are intact. Next is cranial nerves three, four, and six, oculomotor, trochlear, and obducens. These are eye movements. The first mm -hmm. test is the big H. So keep your eyes going here, your eyes okay? Yeah. I know it's a lot, it's tiring. This one really makes your eyes tired too, big H. Okay, you're gonna keep your head forward. This time you are going to move your eyes. Okay. You're going to follow my finger, okay, with both eyes. Look on your fingers? Yep, follow my finger, both eyes. And what I'm doing is I'm watching that she has full range of motion, okay, so I see her eyes go all the way up, all the way over, all the way down. If you go really fast, it'll make your patient feel yucky, okay? And then all the way up. And I'm also watching to see that her eyes don't quiver or shake, which they're not. This is negative for nystagmus. Good job, patient. Next is going to be pupillary constriction. This time you can just relax, look over my shoulder. I'm going to okay. check to see that your pupils constrict when I shine light into your eye. Where's my pen light? Oh, come on. Got a light sign. Okay, very good. That's direct constriction. And then this time looking at her other eye. Her eyes are pretty dark, um, but I can see that's constricting, so consensual constriction. And then the other eye, same thing again, two more times with the light. Direct constriction and consensual constriction okay <laughs> last test with your eyes look straight forward over my shoulder the wall pick a spot on the wall shining the light at the bridge of her nose and looking to see where my light, white light reflects in her eyes it reflects in about the same spot as both eyes which is a negative finding for strabismus cranial nerves three four and six are intact cranial nerve number five is trigeminal for this one i'm going to be putting some light touch to your face just let me know where you feel my cotton swab touch your face if you would mind closing your eyes all right Go ahead. Where did you feel it? Touch where you felt it. Good job. And then the next one is for masseter strength. So I'm going to have you open up your mouth, close your mouth, and bite down. Very good. I feel nice equal strength. So cranial nerve number five is intact. All right, show this room your beautiful face. Smile. <laughs> Brown. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. Puff out your cheeks. Make a bubble. Don't let me pop your bubble. Good. Close your eyes. Keep them closed while I try to open them. Okay, great. So cranial nerve number seven is intact. Cranial nerve eight is uh, acoustic. So for this test, it's a gross whisper test. Cover your left ear. I'm going to whisper a word to you. Okay, other hand. Okay. Lasagna. Very good. Okay, so uh, her gross hearing is intact. Next is the Weber test. Okay. Let me know when I place this uh, tuning fork on the top of your head where you hear sound, your left ear or your right ear. Yeah. Very good. Okay, which is the normal finding. The sound lateralizes to both ears. I'm going to show the rind test on just one ear. I'll use this ear on your right-hand side. So I'm going to place this tuning fork again, this time behind your ear, and you're going to hear a ringing sound. Do you hear it? 
A ringing sound? Yeah, like a vibration sound? Yes. Yeah. Okay, tell me when it goes away. Okay, can you hear it now? Yeah. Okay, tell me when it stops. Very good. Okay, which is a normal finding. So she has a negative finding for the rhyme test. For your nerve eights and pack, 9, 10, and 12, glossopharyngeal, vagus, and hypoglossal. I'm going to have you open up your mouth, say ah. ah. Stick out your tongue, tongue's out midline, say ah louder. Ah, uh, louder. Uh, <laughs> okay, good. Soft palate rises symmetrically. Her uvula is midline. Her tongue is midline. Can you say light, tight, dynamite? Light, tight, dynamite. Very good. So 9, 10, and 12 are intact. All of your cranial nerves are intact today. All right, next we're moving to sensory. For sensory, um, either hand, which hand would you like? Okay, so we're going to do four tests, four different uh, sens um senses i guess okay so i'm gonna have you close your eyes and let me know where you feel this cotton swab touch your hand okay light touch is intact next is dull versus sharp okay i'll give you an example this is dull and this is sharp okay what is this oh this is dull this is sharp mm -hmm. what is this got it very good all right and then next is going to be uh, proprioception same hand only this time um, palm down very good all right close your eyes all right uh, can you tell me if you feel your knuckle up or down oh down oh down oh very good all right, and last is vibration. I'm gonna um, use this tuning fork. You'll feel some vibration on your finger. Let me know if you feel the vibration. Okay, eyes closed. No. Good job. All right, so her vibration sense is intact. That's everything for sensory. We're gonna skip temperature. We're gonna go to tactile discrimination. I'll show you all five very quickly. First is graphesthesia. Hold your hands up like you're reading a book. All right, let me tell you that this is going to be a letter T, mm -hmm. okay? What letter is this? Should I close my eyes? Oh, sorry, yes. Oh. I thought they were. <laughs> no, no. I'm looking over your shoulder, okay. they look closed. Okay, let's do it again. Okay. All right, uh, this is a letter T, okay? Mm -hmm. What is this? Is it an X? Let's give you a It's an A. Yeah, it's an A. <laughs> Good job. All, All right. right. Um, now a stereognosis. Close your eyes. And I'm going to give you an object. One hand, please. Glove. You got it. <laughs> All right. And then that was stereognosis. Next mm -hmm. is going to be light touch. Close your eyes. Let me know where you feel my cotton swab. Very good. Okay, extinction, same thing. Let me know where you feel touch. My shoulder, my thigh. My shoulder, my thigh. Which shoulder? This one. Good. Okay, and which thigh? Right here. Very good. You got it. Right. All right, and then two point discrimination. Can you get your forearm kind of out from your jacket there? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll give you an example first. You're going to tell me if you feel this is thick twice or once. Okay, this is two. This is one. Mm -hmm. What is this? Two. What is this? Two. What is this? One. Okay. Two. One. Wait. Final answer. Are you kidding? One. <laughs> one. One. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Open. Sorry. Sorry. Open. Open. <laughs> oh, it's two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See, it's about an inch or two with the forearm. Now, okay. close your eyes again. Finger pad out. Oh. Like uh, like that. Yeah. Okay. okay. Eyes closed. Is this two or one? Two. 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 Very good. And that's as close as I can get. Good job. That's okay. still two. Good. All right. And then um, coordination. Hands on your thighs. Rapid alternating movement. Flip them over. Close my eyes. Yep. Flip them back. And oh. 
Keep going faster, 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 faster. Look at that coordination. Okay, excellent. <laughs> Next is heel to shin. Take your right uh, foot heel, right heel, and put it to your left knee, and then run it down to your left foot. Nice and smooth and coordinated. Great. Finger to nose. Look at me. Now you keep your eyes open. Touch your nose. Touch my finger. Touch your nose. Touch my finger. Close your eyes. Keep going. Good job, Chris Ann. <laughs> she came to class coordinated. <laughs> All right. Last is going to be patellar reflex. So for patellar reflex, um, guys, you're going to just basically make sure your patient's legs can dangle. So um, I'm going to raise up just a little bit. If your patient's feet are touching the floor, it doesn't work as well. And then some people get a little mental about their um, reflex, so you want to try to distract your patient. So I'm going to ask my patient to grab both of her hands like this, like pull them against each other, create resistance. Look over at your classmates over there. You're going to feel for the kneecap. Yeah. Relax your oh, really? Um, Feel for the kneecap. Yeah. Just below the kneecap or the patella, there should be like a little soft spongy area. Okay? And then you're just going to give it a bop good there did you feel that yeah okay um, yeah mm -hmm. and then on this one these are kind of <laughs> I'm really good at this too <laughs> there it goes yours are just very subtle okay. um, what you want to do is when you, the kneecap is there, right after you get to the end of the patella, there's like a little soft sponge here. It feels like a little rubber band-like area there. That's where you want to hit. I normally feel for that area. Your knees are a little bit, like, I, it's hard to feel there. I don't know if you have something else. Um, you ever had a knee injury or something? No. Um, My when, feet are like this, maybe, when I walk. You got right. your, I'll look it up. Yeah. Um, but so you're going to come to the end of the kneecap and there's a little spongy area. Leave your fingers just above it so that you know where to aim your uh, reflex hammer. So I see students like look for the, the end of the patella. They're like, okay, it's right there. And then they move their hand and then they're like, Pow. well, then you just like totally lost where you were supposed to go. Right. So if you keep your hand there, it kind of gives a good um, like place to aim. If your patient's reflex is very small and subtle, like Chrisanne's, another thing that you can do is if you put your hand on top of their thigh, it will sometimes, even though you only see a minimal foot movement, you will feel the actual quadricep flinch just a little bit, which also means that the reflex is intact. So if it's somebody that has a small reflex, you can try that as well. That's the only one we're gonna do is patellar. It's kind of fun. You feel excited when you get it to go. And then the last would be the gate, which you guys saw. So the regular gate and then back with the tandem. Okay. All right. Questions.